Miss Guys from Million Dollar Listings of L.A. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having us. So, I love the show. I watch you guys weekly. What can we expect new this season? Well, I, I think what you're going to see different this season is they really penetrate our personal lives, yes. um, which, you know, ten, people tend to like a lot to see that. What goes on besides the mega deals and the beautiful homes? How do we handle it? How do our personal lives get affected by it? We delve into the personal a lot more than we ever did in any of the season, which is good. I think it adds another depth to the show. I think so, too. And then what about business-wise? Well, business is great. The market's great. Um, so as far as houses and listings and average sale prices, you're going to see the best of the best. But I think personally for us, you know, uh, I can talk about myself. I got engaged at the end of last season, so there's a lot coming up this season with wedding stuff and how unprepared I probably am for all that stuff. <laughs> She might say no. She, she might change her mind, actually. No. I doubt it. I doubt it. <laughs> and what about you? Um, in terms of uh, what, uh, what question? Last season. Oh. How did it end? How did it end? Um, we are still filming, so it's a work in progress. It's a work in progress. How's that? It's not, nothing is finished yet. We're still working on things from last season. Okay. Yeah, and I think that's why the show is, is so interesting. Is it, it's our lives. Mm -hmm. And we never know what's going to happen that season. They're following us through the ups and downs, through the sales and the no sales. And it's, it's difficult to juggle everything. It really is. But at the end of the day, it's great for our careers. As realtors, we're out there. You know, we're all over the place. So uh, we're having a lot of fun with that. Now, here's a personal question for you. You get a lot of flack online with your because people say that you are you have a big ego mm -hmm. how do you take that I love it and I tell people all the time I do have a big ego mm -hmm. I'm super confident at what I do I work my way up from the mailroom making eight dollars an hour to being one of the top realtors in the world mm -hmm. so call it what you want to call it but I work hard and if, if you want to sell your house you want me to represent you and, and and protect your money so ego or not when you're dealing in these multi multi million dollar properties you want that I love that answer and then for you you get a lot of flack for being lazy because you grew up, you know, with a silver spoon in your mouth. How do you take that? Uh, you can call it what it is. Numbers speak numbers. It doesn't, lazy or not lazy, uh, I'm a more laid back person. I'm not as aggressive, but my numbers are still just as high. So it really makes no difference. It's just a style of doing business. And I think people are very comfortable with me. Love that answer as well. Thank you so much, Jonathan, Thanks for stopping by. Thank you so much. Thank you. Nice to meet you.